Feels great, you know. Feels feels. How does it feel, Anna? Feels amazing, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just to practice all week really hard and then come in and accomplish and kind of execute on what Coach has been saying. Uh, feels great to win. Yeah. Um, you know, this program, Arizona State, great team, great program. You know, they've been top three in the Pac-10 for the last seven years. You know, last year we went toe to toe with this team three times. Uh, came up short in all three in the last minute. Uh, so it feels so good to get over that hump and over that hurdle against this team and be the team that makes the plays down the stretch. You know, I'm so happy for Alicia, you know, for making the big free throws to ice, ice this game and to put this team on her back. What does it say about your team being able to come back after a half time deficit and Make the play yeah, well, it means that we're growing, you know, and we're getting better. And uh, the expectations are changing within our group, you know, and, and that's just a matter of time. You know, this was a similar game to our Washington State game where we came up short. Uh, we, didn't, we were not the team that made the plays that night, you know, and tonight we were. And so, uh, you know, you have to lose to know how to win. Um, I believe that, unfortunately. And uh, I think this team, you know, we've, we've suffered some painful losses over the last year and a half, you know, and it's so nice to be on the other side of it. I'm so proud of this team and happy for them. And, you know, and Arizona State came out and really executed well tonight in the first half, had us on our heels. Second half, they were in control, you know, they're executing, and then all of a sudden we had a spark of energy. Alexis Bostic really came in and sparked us. Uh, Kiki Edwards Teasley, I mean, she came in and did the same thing, especially defensively and on the boards. You know, so this was a big time win for this team and our program. Uh, talk about Alexis' performance coming in. I mean, it just seemed like she had that look in her eye, like, you're not going to finish. She came down, clapped her hands, stared the girl. Yeah, Lex has just been grinding all week in practice. Mm -hmm. Coach uh, moved Molly in, and I just told Lex, just went up to her and talked to her, just as her teammate, and just telling her that, um, congratulate Molly, and just to go into practice every day and fight. Fight for your spot, fight for uh, to play, fight for your minutes, and when you go in the game, prove, prove that you deserve to play. And I think that she did that today. She hit big shots, she had big lifts, she had great passes. She just had an all-around great game today. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a simple equation. It is. You come out and you play with everything you have, you're going to find a way on the floor. And uh, she's right. That's what Alexis did all week this week. She had a different energy, a different passion. Uh, Arizona State's a good matchup for her as well. And uh, she took advantage of her opportunity tonight. And you mentioned a few of the great things she did. That three was huge as well. I think that's the one that tied the game um, uh, maybe for the first time in the second half there. A big shot. Can you kind of talk about uh, beating ASU finally? I mean, it had been 18 games in a row they had beaten you guys, so. I didn't know that. I remember three. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, it feels good to beat them, just to know that every game last year we could have had them and we were on the edge every single time. And then just this year as we're growing and we're learning and we're taking all our um, advantages we have this year and to beat them is a great victory just because ASU is such a great program. They have great players, great scorers. And so for us to come out and execute and follow the game plan and succeed, and succeed with the win is just a great feeling. And how important was it for you guys? Like, you know, you Growing some confidence, but then lost three games in a row. How much of a, I guess, it reconfirms your belief that you are better to get a win tonight? Yeah, it really boosted us up. Um, We've been talking about, we had goals at the beginning of the season just to make postseason, just to have a winning season. And so this game, I told the girls, these games are obtainable, they're winnable, and just to come out and win. And if we want to have dreams after the season, then we have to get all these uh, teams. And I think we did that tonight and got the dub. Yeah, she's, um, or at least she's uh, let her team know how bad she wants to win. And that was clear this week through practice, through shoot around today. She came in, she had a level of focus uh, that's maybe a notch up. And, you know, the interesting thing, we, have lost, we had lost three in a row. You know, we, we know that Washington State is a, is a really good team, and we had opportunities to win that game. That's a confidence builder. We beat Washington. Then we go down, and Cal took us out of our game and played a great game. We, we got beat there. But then last Saturday against Stanford, you know, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that team, and everybody's talked about it all week, you know, how, how close we played them and how this team played outstanding basketball for 40 minutes that night and just got 
got beat at the end, you know, against a team that has superior athletes and talent overall. And, and uh, that's a big confidence builder. So this is just a natural progression, you know. So in that, uh, the losses don't discourage you if you play like you can. And uh, for the most part, we've been doing that. And so couldn't be prouder of this group. Uh, that's what coaches want to see. You know, we talked about it. Out rebound them was on the board today. We talked about our defense and how uh, we've been given a few things up in our, in my opinion, anyway, because that's that's the end of the floor that I love, and um, you know that we need to tighten up a few areas. And the first half, obviously, we didn't. We gave up 35 points on our home court at half. You know, and that's not okay. And that's what we talked about at halftime. And second half, this was the team that competed against Stanford last week that gave themselves opportunities to win both the Washington games. And, and so this is the team we need to see, the one that we saw in the second half, where not only is it position and rebounding, we were making hustle plays. We were the first ones on the floor. We were getting tips. And we were getting out on the court and giving ourselves opportunities, you know, that easy opportunities. That let us uh, have a chance to win, you know. And so, if we're not playing defense like we can, uh, we're going to struggle to beat anybody. And so, the second half was uh, was the way we want to play basketball. Yeah, coach, I've been telling us in the locker room at halftime just that he can't motivate us. And so, we just had a meeting and just talked and just motivated each other, talked it up and set goals and we're just like, we're going to go out and we're going to do this. And I think that we did that in the second half. Didn't let him score as much, didn't let him get offensive rebound, put backs and and they had to take contested shots and which caused them to have scoreboard pressure because we were making our shots. And so I think that was one great thing that we did. We had to motivate ourselves so that we could win. Yeah, well, another great team coming in, you know, just like tonight. And so Arizona is great in transition. They always have been. That's what they do. They get up and down the floor. They've got incredible guards. You know, Davlin White is as good a guard, I think, as we have in our conference. And so we'll have our hands full again. Um, we can't roll the dice, though, like we did tonight and uh, come out a little sluggish and off our A game. I mean, we've got to play our A game, you know, from the first minute. And the comments that or at least you just made about this being their, this is their team. You know, the motivation's got to come from within if we're going to do anything special this year. And uh, that's the sign of a team that's growing and maturing, you know. And uh, the more they do that, the better they're going to be and the more fun they're going to have. So we got to come out and play 40 minutes Saturday if we want a chance. And uh, yeah, I think we will, and I think we'll, we'll have one in the end. Carly, right, so can you talk about wearing the number 92 during warm-ups? Yeah. Um... Uh, we wore these shirts for Fred Thompson. Me and Fred were extremely close. He's a really good friend of mine. And uh, we just wanted to, we also wrote 92 on our wrist. And we also just, we just want to dedicate this win to him just for, to him and his family, for the trials we're going through. Fred is a great person. He influenced a lot of people, influenced me in my life. He changed me and a lot of other girls on the team that were really close to him, like Jenna Dixis and Alexis Bostic. And he had his memorial today. And so we decided for our warm-ups that we would wear these shirts. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks.